Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelis. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. For this project, you'll need a napkin of your choice and a box. I have a wooden storage box, but you can do this to any container. The first thing you want to do is measure the napkin to see where to cut. I fold mine before cutting because I'm terrible at cutting straight lines. I measure one more time before cutting it just to make sure. Next, you want to remove the plies. My box was just the right size to use one napkin. Keep that in mind in case you need more than one. Before decoupaging, make sure to remove all the hardware. I then gave it a coat of matte white acrylic paint. Doing this will make the napkin design more vibrant. Now it's ready to be decoupaged. I start with the top and brush on a nice even coat of Mod Podge. Work at a swift pace. You don't want the glue to dry and make sure to get those edges. Place the napkin and gently smooth it down. As a rule, you shouldn't lift the napkin once it's down, but because of my experience, I know when I can. If you find yourself wanting to lift it, go slowly to see if it will lift without ripping. If you see it's going to rip, stop and try your best to smooth it out with the crumpled up piece of cling wrap. Once you've gotten the wrinkles out, give it one last coat of Mod Podge to seal it in. Repeat the steps to cover the bottom of the box. Try not to get glue on the rim of the box.
Once it's dry, you remove the excess. This project had a lot, so I went ahead and trimmed it with scissors before sanding the rest off. I used a piece of sandpaper, but you can also use a nail file for this step. If you want to add color to the inside, you can line the inside with crafting felt or do as I did and paint it. Don't forget the edges, but be careful not to get the napkin design. I like to hold my brush flat and that helps. I haven't restocked on gold or any metallic paint because I'm waiting to hear from companies concerning their mica powder sourcing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link in the description box below. All I have left in my supplies for the color gold I wanted is this ink, so I use that to paint the trim. Once that was dry, I screwed all the hardware back on. You can leave it as is if you want. I thought it would look cute if I added some gold sequins to match the gold sequin bags on the design. I measured and cut the trim to size. I wrapped the trim around and I cut a tiny piece to allow the latch to open properly. Lastly, I glued it on using some tacky glue. Let that dry and now you have a beautiful custom storage box to store whatever you'd like. For example, you can store recipes, Bible verses, small crafting supplies, tea bags, photos, and special letters. You can even customize them to the theme of what you'll be storing. I decorated mine with paper napkins, but remember, you can use whatever material you want to decoupage onto the box, like fabric, magazine cutouts, and printouts. I had fun making this box, and I hope it inspired you to try one of your own, just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.